Job chapter 6. But Job answered and said, Oh, that my grief were thoroughly weighed, and my calamity lay in the balances together. For now it would be heavier than the sand of the sea. Therefore my words are swallowed up. For the arrows of the Almighty are within me. The poison thereof drinketh up my spirit. The terrors of God do set themselves in array against me. Doeth the wild ass bray when he hath grass, or loweth the oxen over the fo- over his fodder? Can that which is unsavory be eaten without salt, or is there any taste in the white of an egg? The thing that my soul refuses to touch are my sorrow are my sorrowful meat. Oh, that I might have my request, and that God would grant me the thing that I long for even that it would please God to destroy me, that he would let loose his hand and cut me off. Then should I have yet comfort. I would I would harden myself in sorrow. Let him not spare, for I have not concealed the words of the Holy One. What is my strength that I should hope? And what is mine end that I should prolong my life? Is my strength the strength of stones, or is my flesh of brass? Is not my help in me, and is wisdom driven quite from me? To him that is afflicted, pity should be showed. For his friend, but he forsaken the fear of the Almighty. My brethren have dealt deceitfully as a brook, and as the stream of brooks they pass away, which are blackish by reason of the ice and where wherein the snow is hid what time they wax warm they vanish when it is not hot they are consumed out of their place the paths of their way are turned aside they go to nothing and perish the troops of Telma uh, Tema look uh, the companies of Sheba waited for them They were confounded because they had hope. They came thither and were ashamed. For now ye are nothing. Ye see my casting down and are afraid. But did I say bring unto me or give a reward for me of your substance or deliver me from the enemy's hand or redeem me from the hand of the mighty? Teach me and I will hold my tongue and cause me to understand wherein I have erred. Um, Here forcible, how forcible are right words, but what doeth your arguing reprove? Do ye imagine to reprove words and the speeches of one that is desperate, which are as when? Yea, ye overwhelm the fatherless. And ye dig a pit for your friend. Now therefore be content. Look upon me. For it is evident unto you if I lie. Return I pray you. Let it not be iniquity. Yea return again. My righteousness is in it. Is there iniquity in my tongue? Cannot my taste discern. Um, cannot my taste discern perverse things. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of Job chapter 6. KJV.